53, time for Turtle Around Town. Good day's Dana Turtle live in the Arena District making fish for lunch. Yeah, he was with Chef John Beck from 89 Fish and Grill, where I, I hope he's helping to unpack the fresh fish, Dana. Oh, yeah, well, we're going to get to the fish, but we're starting with um, oysters right here. Look Ooh. at this big box. Uh, Terry, uh, this is from somewhere off like Long Island. This is Chef John Beck. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. So uh, show me how we do this. We're going to do something called shucking an oyster, right? Shucking oysters. Okay, I'm going to watch you do that one first. Okay. So, so explain what you're doing here. Oysters you're going to kill it. Uh, they are alive until you shuck them. Uh, so we want to eat them as fresh as possible. So It's really cold and it smells like the ocean indeed and tastes like it too okay so they're going to be a little more rounded on one side than the other the round side is going to be the downside we're going to sit our towel over it so we don't hurt ourselves as we do it and slip a shucking knife right in at the end here where there's a little opening and then push down and that'll pop it open okay Just kind of whittle it in and there's now is this considered muscle. a fish or or what no, no, no. It's, it's a bivalve. It's a mollusk. It falls oh, a mollusk. Okay, I remember that from biology. Bivalves, univalves. Now, did you just kill it? I did. Okay. So now people eat that raw. Absolutely. Just like this. Drink it right out of the shell. Boom. Okay. Should I try it? Should I try it? Please do. Okay. Have you ever had raw oyster before, Terry? No. No, thanks. Go for it. Go for it, DT. You need to put a little either cocktail sauce or horseradish on it, turtle. <laughs> I don't know if he can talk. He's turning red. Okay. Dana, go take care of that. Hey, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't yeah. that bad. Okay, I'm going to open my, I'm going to open my now. Hold my microphone here. Certainly. Okay. All right. Well, we'll let do Dana it really quick. Shuck some oysters. Don't lose a finger. Flip the knife the other way. There yeah, you. Okay. be careful there, okay? Oh, my goodness. This just is, I need this help is, with this. This is just not going to end well. Ah, uh, shucks. You know that. But right. oh, we'll, we'll check back in. It? You got it? Well, now you have to kind of slide the knife in a little right. bit. To, we'll, we'll check back in. We'll check back in and make sure Dana still has all his digits. For more on 89 Fish and Grill, go to myfox28columbus.com and click on news links. Time for Turtle Around Town. And good days, Dana Turtles live at 89 Fish and Grill. Yeah, this morning he's helping Chef John Beck make some fish for Lent. Dana, I'm just curious, do they serve turtle there? Uh, do people eat turtle? They do eat turtle. Too. Really? They do eat turtle? Turtle's good. Oh, well, we're not going to fry me up this morning, but we are going to fry up these mussels right here. Hey, this is Chef John back. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Dan? I'm good. 89 Fish and Grill. Okay, so I love eating mussels. Um, so we're all doing this because it's Lent, and a lot of people don't eat red meat and that sort of thing. So how do we make mussels? Well, we're going to steam these mussels, but we're going to make a little broth for it, a kind of spicy broth. We've got jalapeno peppers caramelized onions and chorizo sausage working in the skillet here. Hey, you know what's funny, everybody? When he put the sausage in, I thought it was brown sugar. <laughs> we'll add a little tomato to it. We'll throw in our mussels and a little bit of white wine. Ooh, white wine. Oh, can I put the wine in? Sure. Okay, here we go. Is this Chardonnay? It, it is, actually. Okay. The whole thing? Yep. There we go. So I'm assuming that burns the alcohol off it, right? There's no... Cover it? Now, how long does that sit there? Oh, for about one minute, minute and a half. They open really fast. Okay. So tell us about uh, what else is on the menu here. We just did, um, you know, oysters. Yeah. You got fresh fish that comes in all the time. Now, tell us about the fish, because the fish is coming in this morning. It is indeed. They should be arriving anytime. We get fish every day, six days a week. And all our Friday shipment is huge. It's about to come in. We'll have a bunch of fresh fish to unpack and take a look at. So what kind of fish is it? Because it comes from Canada, like Western Canada, and they drive it all the way here. Oh, that's our Schooner Bay salmon. It, it comes from a special farm up on the Pacific coast. They truck it here over four days, and it's signed by the guy who actually put it in the box, and then he tapes over it, sends it right to you, and nobody's opened that box since it left Canada. Very cool. All right, now, is this done? Because we're running out of time. Oh, look, they're, they're opening, opening up. up. They're opening up. You know what it's like when you get, like, a plate of mussels, and then you get one or two that doesn't open up, and oh, you're like, duds. really? Yeah, duds are bad. A dud. Okay, so this <laughs> we're going to put onto a plate, and then we have... Now, what kind of fish are we going to do on the next one that we're... Uh, Schooner Bay salmon will be what we deal with next. Okay. Oh, that smells really tasty. Look at that. I bet you Katie Garner is salivating right now. I bet we yes, all I are, am. Dana. Well, and it's well between Ooh, it's those, awesome. and then look at that's appropriate with your muscles too, because you've been working out, right? Yeah. Ha ha. Funny. Hey, it's fogging up my glasses. 
Oh, nice. Hey, should we have one? Indeed. Let's just have should. one here. Don't burn yourself. Thanks, Dana. <laughs> All right, Dana, thanks. For more from 89 Fish and Grill, go to myfox28columbus.com and click on news links. Mm. For Turtle Around Town, good days. Dana Turtle live in the Arena District. Something something smells fishy about this. I don't know. This. Dana, what are you up to now? Well, I tell you what, uh, we have a lobster right here. Now, Terry Ooh. and Pete, have you ever made a lobster at home and then ever wondered how exactly do you cut it and prepare it and all that? I have not. I have no idea how to um, do that. I'm right there with yeah. uh, Pete well, there. we don't either, because you know they sell them in the grocery stores and stuff. Okay, so Chef John, good morning. Good morning. We're at 89 Fish and Grill, where you know how to do this. So this is a very fresh lobster. We skipped another part, um, obviously during the commercial. Um, so how do we prepare this thing? What do, what do we do? It's been broiled, right? Uh, I boiled it in water, uh, but just for a couple minutes, because we're going to stuff the lobster. Uh, later on. So we're going to pull all the meat out of the lobster and take the lobster apart. Okay, let's get right into it. All right. So how do we do it? First thing you do is pinch the claws off by just pushing down a little bit and twisting it. So you take the whole claw off. Now how long did the, did the lobster boil? It didn't seem very long. About three minutes for this one, but we didn't want to cook it all the way. If you're going to do it at home, I'd say about six minutes is best. So I think you, you have to have a really good sharp knife for this, obviously. You do, but a regular kitchen chef's knife at home, I mean, you know, is It's about very one. crunchy. Okay, what's that? That's the tamale in the row. Uh, it looks like tapioca it pudding. It can be eaten, but really yeah, best. I, I don't think that we should eat that, no. No, no. And okay. so we'll rinse it out and take that out of there. And now we can get right to our tail meat. As you can see, we can pull the whole tail meat right out of it. Oh, wow, okay. See all that nice tail meat? Yes. That's how you get the tails out. Okay. But we'll go ahead and pop a claw, because this is always the part at home that people don't know what to do. How do you get into this hard claw? Well, right, yeah. You take the back side of your chef knife, not the sharp blade side, but the back side, and give it a whack, and then a twist to one side, it pops it right open. Are you paying attention to this, Pete, so that you know how to do this? Yes. If you bend it. Okay, <laughs> now you're bending the claw. Side to side, and then you can pull it out. Wow. Oh, see, it's not as difficult it it so as you easy, think. Though. For this part, you, you make it look very easy. There's that part there. So that's how you do it. It's not like that hard to do. You can get the claw and the knuckle meat right out like that. Okay, so we're out of time. What are you going to make this into eventually? I'm going to cut this up in large chunks, and then I'm going to stuff it back in here with a really nice sauce we make with mushrooms and bell peppers and cognac. Oh, okay. Sprinkle little breadcrumbs with Parmesan cheese, and then bake it in the oven. All right, so the salmon is salmon, right? Coming up, coming up next. We're saving the salmon for Sean in the nine o'clock hour. So we'll oh. see you then. Katie and Look I want a word with you is. then. Nice. Well, Katie oh, Garner yeah. and I. Yeah. Well, hey, we still have it. It just mm. it just arrived that though, so that's why we had to push it to nine. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, thanks, yeah. Dana. Hey, mm -hmm. for more on uh, 89 Fish and Grill, go to myfox28columbus.com and click on news lights. It's Friday and Turtle Around Town Day. We have Dana Turtle this morning out and about. He's live at the 89 Fish and Grill. He's helping Chef John Beck make fish just in time for Lenten Friday. Yeah. So good morning, guys. You remember the, the movie The Little Mermaid where they sing the song Les Poissons, Les Poissons? Hee 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 ho ho ho. Kids wait, song. Wait, do that again. Do that again. Les Poissons, Les Poissons. Hee hee hee. <laughs> anyway, look at this. So, chef and fish. There we go. Good morning. Good morning, Dana. Hey, did, do you know that song? I have heard it before, yes. Okay, so this is a big hunk of Canadian salmon. This is from the area of Canada where Bob Kendrick originates from, Western Canada. Um, now, let's cut it up and prepare it. Okay, um, I want to show you how to skin a salmon. So if you buy a whole side of salmon from the grocery store and take it home, I'll show you how to get the skin off of it in a really quick, easy way. Now, this is not really a knife. What is that? It is a knife. Oh, uh, it is? It's a prime rib knife, a carving knife, but it works okay. great for skinning fish. You just make a little divot going back away from the fish. It gives you something to hold on to. You can turn the knife oh. and running parallel to the cutting board, you See, if I did right. that, I'd leave a whole chunk of, like, skin, like, Wrap and meat. Skin around your hand and just pull and shimmy the knife back and forth, pushing it down. Okay. Now, how many of these have you done over the years? Thousands. Yeah, exactly. That's why his looks like that, everyone. Okay, now what do we do with it? Now we'll trim our belly. We're trimming the belly, Marshall. We're trimming the belly. 
and now it's ready to cut down into portions. So depending upon, you know, if you had a dinner party for six, it would be nice to just buy a whole side of salmon from the grocery store. You can cut it down into the size portions that you'd like to serve everybody. Get what you want out of it and cut it just the way you like it. Uh, and it's a little more economical to buy well, them There you like go. That. Now, we're out of time. How long ago is this fish swimming in the water in Canada? Four days. Really, four days they ago? Chuck them down here, and the person who, uh, who puts the fish in the box, signs their name on it, puts a piece of tape over their, their signed name, and sends it right to the kitchen. Okay. Hey, we have one more uh, hit coming up. What are we going to make next? We're going to cook this salmon. Oh, we're going to cook the salmon. Uh, you know, Katie Garner really wants to have some salmon. I think I can send some with you. Okay, we'll send a little bit. <laughs> Terry Sullivan wants some, too. Le Poisson. There you go. Very nice. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Hee, hee, ho, ho, ho. For I love that song. It's cute. Uh, it is, as a matter of fact. It gets cuter and cuter. For more on 89, cuter the first time. <laughs> 89 Fishing Girl, go to myfox28columbus.com and click oh, on news links. You'll find more information there. All right. Time now for Turtle Around Town. Good day, Columbus's Dana Turtle is live in the Arena District, and he is making some fish for Lent today. He's with Chef John yep. Beck from the 89 Fish and Grill, and it's starting to smell good all the way from here. Oh, yeah, you can smell it. I bet you can smell it just down the road. We're only like three, four miles away. Okay, so, <laughs> Chef John, we're going to be, we, we cut the salmon up over there. That was fun, by the way. Thanks. I have fun, too. Yeah. Okay, so here's a nice little, what do you call that, a fillet of fish? A fillet of salmon. A fillet of salmon, yes. Okay, now, how do we make this? Because when I make fish, I actually eat a lot of fish because it's good for you. Lots of omega-3s and all that. Um, how do you do it without overcooking it? I always overcook fish. Well, with this piece of fish, we're going to sear it so it has a nice crust on the outside to contrast that smooth, buttery center. What does that mean, searing? Searing, we're going to get a skillet really hot. As you can see, there's smoke rolling off the pan. We're going to put a little oil in, just enough to coat the pan. Yeah, don't burn yourself doing this at home, people. And that would be... Importantly, you've got to season your food, so you want to salt and pepper your fish on both sides. Okay, yeah, I, I skip this part sometimes. I don't think about it until after I'm done makes a big difference big difference okay here we go here we go and you can hear it immediately start searing it is searing and sizzling at the same time indeed and you'll see it start to brown around the edges and it'll get a little crust on it what we'll do is lift it up on the edge because fish does not cook very long like it really doesn't take very long you'll see right away it starts to uh, starts to get a little crust on it but we'll let it go on that side until it gets nice and golden brown I've got one in the oven right now that I already put. Oh, here's one in the oven. Here we go. Oh, look how good that looks. How it has a nice crust on it. I put a little bit of butter on it while it was in the oven, and it was almost finished so that the butter would melt down on the fish as it got done cooking. Now, Marshall and Sean, I want you to notice. Ooh, that's kind of hot. I want <laughs> you to notice right here how nicely it springs back like that. Now, that's the kind of thing that I look for when I bake my fish like that. <laughs> Is it now? <laughs> it's best to have skillets where you have a handle you can throw it in the oven like this. To have a metal skillet really helps. When you flip it, tilt the pan away from you so the oil doesn't splash on you, and then turn it. All right, there you go. Very cool. So it's Lent, and fish is very popular, of course, this time of year. And there you go, some options for you. Have a great weekend. You too, Dana. Thank, Thank you. Yes, Thanks, we're going to be eating fish now. Yes, <laughs> yeah. you will. For more on the 89 Fish and Grill, go to myfox28columbus.com and click on News Links.